Hello there, everybody. It's me, Kay, and this is Countdown Vampires, what is quite possibly the final episode. I, I hope it is. I hope it's the final episode. That would be great. But, uh, I want to talk to you as we make our way to the boss here. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, buildings. Specifically this building. Now, I think I've mentioned this before, but my father worked uh, as vice president of a major union, uh, operating engineers, and they build buildings. So I've, I've learned things by osmosis over the many years that, that he was there. He's retired now, but... Uh, when you build a building, you have to have plans, right? Okay. And this self-destruct sequence is, is what I'm, I'm going to discuss with you. Uh, when you build a building, you require plans. You need plans for the building, right? So somebody drafts those plans, and that's that's fine and all. You, you draft the plans for the building, and then the the you need a contractor and workers. The contractor uh, keeps it to the plan, and if you deviate for that plan, you're going to have to update it because the the government requires you to have accurate plans for all buildings for numerous numerous reasons but uh that leads to an unusual conversation that you're going to have with your contractor at some point which will go something like uh hey yeah uh, i see in the plans here we're almost done but this calls for a uh are you guys sure you want a self-destruct system in your hotel and casino? I know a guy who can do it for you, I'm saying, but uh, he, he does a lot of work for the Umbrella Corporation. Oh, I think he bugged out. But, uh... How bad? Oh, God, he barely does anything resembling damage. But how does that conversation work, do you imagine, with your contractor about building the self-destruct system in your hotel? Do you think that's something that they just do? Do they maybe talk to somebody about that first? Is that something they notify, like, somebody about? I'm just saying the self-destruct system may be a little silly. Yes, they could build you this underground area. That could all be seen as basement facilities for a casino. I could see that. You know, it would have high capacity wiring because maybe you have a, a security system down there. Or maybe, I don't know, you have... Uh... Oh god, there's lots of reasons why you could have that, but... Like, I could, I could totally get that. But the self-destruct system requires so much infrastructure to make it happen. Like, there's no way you can hide that. They're having to pack explosives into the walls in damn near every room. It's just, I, the self-destruct really gets me. We can't even do the argument that, you know, it's, like, secret. Because these people aren't the fucking Umbrella Corporation. Holy shit! You killed me from caution with one hit there? Damn, this guy's a tough one. Okay. Uh, I don't like this timer on this fight, I have to say. That's, uh, that's kind of poopy. Because they need you to do this fast. I get why the timer's there. I really do. It's because, you know, Resident Evil had it, which is the same reason that everything in this game happens. We've ascertained that already. I need to uh, grab my foods because I'm going to need them. But is it really necessary to give me such a strict timer on an enemy where Misato is not going to throw me a rocket launcher? She ain't got one. First off. Uh, secondly, I don't think this game has a rocket launcher, unfortunately. It would be improved by... All games are improved by rocket launchers. 
you know, Tetris Rocket Launcher, Minecraft Rocket Launcher, Super 3D Noah's Ark Rocket Launcher, Mario's Missing Rocket Launcher. But uh, this timer's a little strict for just shooty gun. Because I can't kill this thing in three minutes, probably. I don't know. By God, we're going to try. Emergency alert. You know, there's that self-destruct system, which I just find very questionable. Wait, so evacuate, but we're closing all the... E I didn't even catch that before this time. Holy shit. Evacuate, we're closing all the exit doors, though. So evacuate, but fuck you is what that means. Also, I get. Is there much point to having rescued all these people from being vampires, from being countdown vampires, if the whole building's gonna just blow up in a minute? Because everything's been sealed. I can't get out of the building. We've ascertained that. We've tried, and the key was broken. The key that I didn't have was broken. So that I, I couldn't get out of the building. Okay, so we're fighting just a bug. Ow. Okay. Yeah, you bop out when you, you hit me once. Oh, God. Okay. Three hits has put me in alert. Okay. Four hits. Five hits. Okay. Five hits puts me in Dengar. So we eat a food for Dengar. Okay. So now we do this cockamamie bullshit. No, don't reload right now, buddy. You don't have time for that shit. Okay. So how are we doing on health? Alert. Okay. Oh, I think I killed it. Yeah, okay. So enough magnum shots just kills it pretty easy. It's actually a wuss. You're not cool, Keith. I'm sorry. Or Kevin. What the hell your name is? That was our action sequence. Wait a minute. Oh, uh. That's consequential. Yeah, the casino blows up too. Okay. So, whole, whole damn place just detonates. There's explosives packed all through it. Somebody built that. No. No, there's a... Oh my god, there's a whole nother fucking... Turn! 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 Okay, so that that's happened. I had to redo that fight because I had to go find Disc 2 because I didn't know it existed before now. Uh, much easier this time. It takes about 10 Magnum shots to kill that thing and you can just face tank him on one Even health bar. Town, there were a lot of vampires. Yeah, but it all started at the desert moon. We should be all right all the way out here. What? We're out of gas. <laughs> oh my god. But look, there's a gas station over there. But the road is blocked. Something's weird. <laughs> is the best one I've ever heard. Something's weird. So, yes, I did pretty good, actually. Let me go ahead and drink my bottle. And I'm good. Yeah, I didn't use any foods or anything. There's like four cockroaches following me. Cool. Good for them. But yeah, I still got uh, both my foods now. So, that's good. And uh, I should probably reload my magnum and get something a little less massive out. There you go. 
Uh, so... Okay, what do we have here? The locked door to the small storage room. Okay, fair enough. I'm sure we're, we're gonna fight monsters now, because Resident Evil 2 took place in a town, so this one's gotta go to a town now, because it's at least as good as both first Resident Evil games, Misato, right? Misato, you stay here. Ditching Misato again. Notice. This music. Uh, we've got a drink. Okay, cool. Get my way, Misato. Hmm. I mean, it's preferable to having an escort mission with Misato. Oh, she's following me still. Good. I bumped into her and that reset her AI. So she follows me now. Uh, 12 gauge. Good. They're giving me some stuff here. They assume that you probably fought that boss in some capacity, which, I mean, I didn't really. I just kind of stood there and fired my magnum as fast as I could. And that won before he could deplete my health bar. Oh, no. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, I ain't got a lot of magnum left if that's how you're gonna do me, game. I don't get a map, of course. Maybe there's some magnum bullets around. Wouldn't that be lovely? Uh... 12 gauge. Take 12 gauge. Uh, more anesthetic dart B. That's fine. So we got werewolves again in the town. That's kind of an issue. Oh, there's... Oh, thank goodness, there's a save room. Well, that's nice of it, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. Kind of start overwriting old ones. I know the video files came out okay, so I can do that. Yes. Overite. We used 20 saves total, including a few off-camera when I just redid something quickly. Because I died or something between episodes or whatever, you know. Uh, let's see here. We got one magnum bullet left. I should probably use it on myself, frankly. Because I'm playing Countdown Vampires and there's a second damn disc. Okay, so mobile grave map? What? I'm sorry, what? Mobile grave map. Alright, sure. Mobile grave. I think they wanted mobile grove, but no, it says mobile grave. You you got it. Okay, sure. Please be Magnum. It's not. It's, it's, it's 12 gauge. Oh, damn it all. Okay, well... We're not gonna get Magnums late right now, so that's a problem. Let's figure out where we can go. How about up here? This is a thing. Yeah, you can go up the ladder. Whatever good it does you, yeah, I don't know. Oh god. Okay, we're out of that. Uh, shotgun time! Okay, so, the junkyard dogs are very aggressive in this junkyard. Understood. Key to the campground vehicle. Uh, hold, please. The key to the campground vehicle is just what it tells me when I try to open a door. The key to the campground vehicle. The tires are stacked up too high. I can't get to the other side. It would be good if we had some kind of platform or stand. It would be good. It would be great, in fact. Kevin. Kenneth. God, I can never remember this man's name. It's because I don't care about him. Oh! Hi! Fuck off! Okay, then. How badly hurt are we? Uh, danger. So that's food, right? Yeah, food is danger because that's like the end of your health threshold completely. That was a cheap ass room. Oh, key to campground vehicle. The door told me the name of this item. Uh, 12 gauge. 
Well, I guess the shotgun has become standard for me, apparently. I can scrap this car. There's a scrap machine. <laughs> All right. Why do I wish to do that, though? Is there a particular reason given or just, no, I can scrap this car. There is a scrap machine. Sure, okay. You'd think he would stay on top of the trucks if he saw all the vampires waiting to get him on the other side, and he'd just shoot them from there. But that would imply that Keith has any sense. Keith is what I'm going to go with. I used the key to the campground vehicle. We cool in here? We seem cool in here. Okay. Well, there's some items. That's good. Uh, 44 Magnum bullets is probably the most welcome thing I've ever seen in my life right now. And drink. Drink is also good. Yes. Okay, well, that was ultimately not a, a useful place, but... Oh, there's a steering wheel. Steer it? Yes. How is that a steering wheel? Did I just strangle a bat? That's not a steering wheel, you moron. That's a crank. The fuck is wrong with this man? There's a steering wheel. Shut up. Ain't no steering wheel. The hell are you talking about? How in the, how the world is that a steering wheel? What did I steer? I steered a ladder. Good job, you jerk. Oh, see, he elected to remain on it this time. Oh, there's some countdown vampires I can stand. Hey. Oh, that's... That's not standing. Sorry. <laughs> Just stand you. There's some more of them over there, but they're glitched out and they can't seem to reach me. That's nice of them to be glitchy. Bug out vampires. Oh, yeah, now this is the ticket right here. Tell you what, that works for me. Anybody else need some of my stan? Better check to see how much stan I got on the next screen. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I got some stan still. What we got here? Key to small storage room. That must be the very first place we went to. Okay. So this is pointless, is what you're telling me. Thanks. I like my wet footprints, by the way. It's a nice little touch game. You did something. There was an attempt. I'll give you credit where credit isn't really due. I'm a generous man. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's head... No, why, why, Keith? Keith, there you go. Figured it out. You found the, the walkway's magical place that you needed to go to. My shadow just appears on the ground as a big blob as soon as I get on that ladder like that. Uh, I believe this is the way to go. Hopefully we're done with this area. I don't have to come back here. I might need to, to scrap a car because I, I can use the scrap machine. Let's reload that shotgun while we're here. Uh, let's have a look at our map here. Yeah, we, we went all over the place in there, but there's still a place we can't go. Right, right. Okay, so. Okay, so we need to head down this way now. No, we need to go in here. Is Misato gone yet? Has she inevitably wandered off to go be a load somewhere? Nope, there she is. I, I was about ready to shoot her. Oh god, Misato, I can't get through you. Misato, thank you. Thank you for that. That was at least some mercy. Please don't follow me. Oh god, please don't follow me. So, Tom's Diner, I guess. I used the key to small storage room. Wasn't much of a journey, frankly. He hello there. Is that a chainsaw? There's a chainsaw storage shelf. It's locked and can't be opened. Okay, well, chainsaw. I'll keep that in mind. Please be magnum. Magnum. 
Magnum? Magnum? Forklift key. That's not good. Magnum. No food. There's no empty space for food. Ah, uh, more food. I think those are both foods. Maybe. Are they both food? Nope, those two, two, three. Okay. We'll come back for the food when we come back for the inevitable chainsaw that it's calling focus directly to, so. We'll be back for you, my little buzzy friend. Sato, you're in the way again. Get out of the way. Okay, so. If I go over here, I can store some crap, right? Yes. Let's store some crap. We probably don't need all this food if we've got a couple drinks. That's just taking up precious inventory. Inventory. Uh, let's drop off... Yeah, let's drop off the food. And let's drop off a drink. And we are good. We still have some healing. And we have ammo for the guns that we still care about. Namely the Magnum, the shotgun, and the... Uh, the assault rifle. Which is pretty decent, actually. Still, I could use that for, uh... I might get rid of that, but they're still giving me ammo for it. And they've stopped giving me pistol ammo because they know I don't give a shit about it anymore, presumably. So... Yeah. We're okay here. Alright, so... I used the forklift key. And now that takes me up, of course. We get a cutscene for this. We have a CG cutscene for me going up three feet in the air on a forklift. All right. That sounds like not zombie vampires. Okay. Oh, hold up. Somebody's making their move. Okay, there he is. Yep. There's another one somewhere. Oh, there he is. Four. Five. And six. That didn't kill you. Oh, God. No, this is not a good time to reload. Dude. Oh, you're a strong one. Wow, okay. Maybe that has some diminishing returns over distance. I ain't sure. I ain't totally sure on that one, Chief. Hmm. Up and ought to do the same damage if it hits you. That's how we have consistency in our video game. So we calculate when it's safe to shoot, when it's time to run away. That's kind of important for survival horror. Is running away is supposed to be a part of it, but I've killed literally everything I've encountered. And I've never run out of ammo, so it's kind of failed as a survival horror game, hasn't it? More 12 gauge. We'll take it. Is this something? No. These are not something either. Oh, hello. Oh, 308. Oh, okay. Don't know about that one yet. Sounds fun, though. Log house key. Okay. Cool. Uh, we are not in the, uh, mobile grave anymore. We are uh, somewhere else because we don't have a map for it, which is great. Why do I get a whole transition here? A whole ass transition. Blue moon. So the locked door to Marlin Town. Okay, but you must realize, game, that I don't have a log house to go to yet. I don't, I don't have log house. That's not a thing that we've ascertained as existing. Please. I beg of you, game. Every time. Okay. Oh, every time. All right. You can't just transition me back here? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You could just transition me back here. I'm just saying. Uh, we've now been... Everywhere? that I'm gonna be, really? Let's try over here. Maybe the log cabin is inside the car that we can scrap with the scrapping machine. 
Not really sure where you want me to go now, game. I can scrap this car. There's a scrap machine. But why, why is the question that I have? Why, I have many questions. Why is just one of them? That is only one question in my mind. Why? Um, hmm. Okay, so if we go up there, that don't do nothing. Could that be somehow the key to get the chainsaw? The log house key. Because that doesn't seem right. But, you know, I don't have a chainsaw yet, and presumably I want one, so... If nothing else, we can drop by and get that food and drop it off in the item building. Misato, you're in the way. Get out of the way. No, the building is in the way. Get out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Yes, let's go in here. Grab food. Thanks. Yes, I'll take that. No, that is not the key. Hmm. Okay, well, this complicates things a little bit now, don't it? Now, if I go back from here, that just takes me... Yeah, that's not taking me anywhere. Okay. I guess we've got to go back to that area. There must be a log house that we didn't find in the second area that we don't have the map for yet, which is unfortunate that we don't have the map because we clearly need to consult it to figure out where the hell to go. Which is a bit frustrating, is it not? I mean, that's not a great decision to make. I don't really thoroughly appreciate that as much as I probably, as much as they think I should. Uh, but that is about all the time for this episode either way, so let's just drop off some crap here, drop off that food. Not much point carrying around the 308 if I don't have a gun that makes it go. So, uh, I suppose I'll see you all in the next episode as we start our adventures on Disc 2 of Countdown Vampires. Thank you, as always, for watching. Bye-bye.